Okay guys, welcome back to the Forensics Unplugged channel. One last video on triggers. I'm done with triggers. Triggered on triggers, done with it. Now, I've explored lots of triggers. Over here on the left, we have, let's open the door because we're gonna be doing some firing off, letting off some rounds. <laughs> we have the Martin Cox Power Spray, which you can pick up for about six or seven quid. What's going on? There it goes, dual action. Really comfortable trigger that holds in your hand. Let's go on the light. There we go. That holds in your hand there. That overhang is huge. It's so comfy. No dangly weight at the bottom. So you will get some stalling of it when you get, you know, a certain angle. But very good, that is. Very good. Um, and a measuring scale on there. Good price. Very good quality. Everything about that is elite. I just don't want a double trigger. That's all. But very, very good eBay jobby that you can pick up for about a quid. All the different scales and ratios on there. Triggers which are okay, but they hurt your hand a bit. But they've got good draw on them. It's going to run out now. It's empty. And and just you could buy hundreds of them. They don't. They're a bargain. But they're not for me because I'm looking for you know something a bit better. I case I case the amazing cards that you can write. You can flip it around on the other side. That card is green, so you can write it down. It's got milliliter scale. It's got Fluid ounce scale, um, lovely bottle, good draw. This is going to just, it's a new trigger, just give it a second. Oh, hold on, hold on, sorry. It's a brand new trigger, there we go. Come on, there we go. Good draw on it, nice beefy draw, but quite a thin trigger, and you get a lot of weight going into your hands. So it's not the perfect trigger, but I'm using it and testing it more. I'm just learning to kind of pick it up like that, and kind of use two fingers. And actually, I'm not finding it too bad. And if worst case scenario, it slips down in your hands. Like someone said to me, man up. <laughs> man up, John. They were kind of right. So I really do like that. It's £8.95, which I don't actually think is too bad, considering how good the flask is. Now, this one here, this is German. German trigger with metal. If it's got metal in the head, you know, it's going to be good quality. Let's get the light there. Now, this trigger... Full, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I just, I, so I've just broken it. And I haven't. It's just popped the trigger off. Good test. I'm just testing. Just testing. Dropping all. Doing the drop testing. Full, full ergonomics. So it doesn't hurt your hand. Three fingers on the trigger. And such a beefy draw on the trigger. And, of course, you can atomise. Uh, I think they're about six or seven quid each. The only problem is the bottle stops you gripping it. Like your hand, you can't grip right round. That's why these have all got narrow necks, so you can grip all the way around. That's the only bad thing. And it's a litre, but the scale ends at 800. That's a really dumb thing to do. Why would you not give you... Why would you not put the scale up to a, a full litre? That's really dumb. That's really bugging me. But this is an incredible, the best trigger so good real contender that is if it was less about looks and more about and i was having to work with these flasks that these every day that would be the winner um the built handle one best ergonomics comfiest in the hand that doesn't go anywhere it just is so solid and so comfy um you can only spray though and there's less throughput on this on this this trigger but this is not, this is something you get free with the product, you know, and I'm not gonna go with that one because I want something that looks amazing. Um, now here's, this is the Marilex, £2.90 or something like that, £2.80, mini 1000, it's like a garden sprayer with the Vela trigger head with the, the 28400. Really comfortable in the hand. You can actually get your hand around it. You're never gonna drop it, it just feels perfect. Double trigger, um, and you can atomize that. Really good. It's like a little mini, mini water. I call this the water PPK. <laughs> it's like a little mini James Bond pistol. Um, really impressive. Just doesn't have the throughput. It's quite a low throughput. That trigger does. If the mass is watching. I've tested it. You can put that trigger on this, and it works great. But the only downside is the throughput of this trigger. It's fine for detail sprays. 
glass cleaner maybe, but not for wheel cleaner or APC where you want to perhaps use it down the side of your panels or fallout remover. So the low throughput is the only problem with that, but it just feels brilliant. Again, if I was in the trade, I'd almost be tempted by these because of the price. Now, this is the this is the one that Matt sells from Obsessed Garage. This is a Prezel one. Now, again, I don't want the double trigger, but I just wanted to have a look at this. And this is, this is, I mean, this is just, it's just another level. It's got a kink in it so that if you're spraying down onto the bonnet, the flask isn't going to, um, you know, the liquid is going to be more horizontal or whatever the word is. So it's going to stall out less. It does have a weight in it as well, but the weight isn't as sort of rattly as that one. So you don't get the stall. You also get better back spray on the release of this product. Really is amazing. And it doesn't hurt your hand there. It still doesn't support your hand as well as this one. You can like lift this up. You can't with this one. It still wants to get away from you when this is all wet and slippery. So it's not perfect, but you can get your hand around that. This isn't some flimsy thing as well. This is a rock solid flask. It's really, this is really well made. Unfortunately, they're very expensive in the UK um, and I don't want the double trigger. And I do also want to be able to dose out I want to be able to see how much fluid is going into my flask. So I'm really just looking at that for fun. And uh, even though I'm not going to go with it, it's got a swivel head as well. That is phenomenal. And then this one is virtually the same as the Martin Cox one. £8.95, it's got the ball in it. The double draw, I think it's triggers on the way out. It's It gets stuck a little bit, but it's the, the release is just a tiny spit whereas the release on this is a really good thing so these double triggers are more for throughput like i've said before now um which one is the best that one in my opinion it's just got a really beautiful draw you can get good throughput from it it feels so comfortable the flask is the only problem which one am i going to be going with I've already gone and bought them, the IK. And yes, this white called the Albino one is like bugging me. <laughs> it's ruining the look. It's a, it's a joke. It does, it just bugs me. That The white one is the chemical, the hydrocarbon one, you know, for the solvents. Um, yeah, so it's these I'm going with. Now, trigger upgrades. You could put the Vela trigger on there if you wanted to and that would solve the problem i've just got these which i was talking about on instagram these are the big blaster 640 4.0 ml 4.0 ml look at the size of the chamber on that huge chamber look at the size compared to it this puts out 4 ml these will put out like one point two 1.3 maybe some of them 1.4 that might be a bit higher those might be a bit higher but typically this has got like three or four times the throughput and you can get four fingers on it and it's got a proper tail on the back so it doesn't hurt your hand this and that will go straight on there if you want to upgrade these you've got to put the, these are the ones to go for note they're the 4.0 ml not the 3.5 Tolco Big Blaster 640s. You can get them on eBay. About I think they're about 11 quid for three, including delivery. It's a real shame they're not black. Because if they were black, that, this would become the perfect product. I've just put that in my Instagram. Um, I've gone with the Tolcos. Uh, sorry, I've gone with the IKs. Because I think they look amazing. And that's enough for me. The thing about the trigger and the hand isn't enough to stop me using them. I also think it's a bit extreme for me to go and pay a fortune after paying eight ninety five to then go and pay. I'd need to spend another thirty quid on the tolcos. If they had black, if those tolcos were the same but black, I'd go and do it because it's they're that good. They're that good. They throw the liquid out. You get so much throughput. It's incredible. But you can also have it nice and fine and get the control if you want to do glass cleaning or detail sprays. I've also gone and bought the IK 2.0 sprayer and the IK 
2.0 foamer. I've got this IK 1.5 foamer. I very rarely use it. I find it's too much pumping. But I just figured rather than give up on the pump foamers, I'd try the 2.0 litre one, see if it's a bit more, less pumpy and a bit better, you know. So I'm going with the IKs on these. And I'll talk about these soon, guys. You'll be able to get these. These are about 35 quid each, which isn't cheap, but people will want them. I'll do a separate video. You've got to be aware of the threads on these. Some of these threads I've had to put um, PTFE tape to stop them leaking, but none of them leak now. They're dry as a bone and the spigots don't leak. It's just the threads you need to be careful of. How cool are these? That's it. Look, look over here as well. So I can also dose out my Atom Mac, which I know I need 5%, so 50 mil to one litre. So I just squeeze it and I've got my dose. Same with auto foam, 10 mil, just dose it out now by squeezing rather than having to tip the product or pull a syringe out. Same with seal, O&R and screen wash. Um, I've just been sent this as well, disinfectant cleaner. So I always have an ozo, ozo o, enzyme odor eater type thing. I've got the Valet Pro one here. So I'll, when that runs out, I'll switch over to this turtle wax one. As well as deodorizing, it cleans bacteria and viruses as well, I think. I think it, it's, it, I think it kills coronavirus. Pretty sure about that. Yes, coronavirus. So you can spray it, or you can apply it to an applicator and cover a surface, or you can spray it. You want to obviously want to be careful atomizing all in your cockpit. Um, and when you've wiped a surface with it, it stays active for 24 hours. So it will carry on killing. So imagine if you're a taxi driver and you've got people coming out of your cars. If you put this on at the start of the day, you know, it will carry on working on the surfaces for the day. Whereas other ones will sort of evaporate off. They'll kill any bacteria there and disappear, but they won't stay active as far as I know. So that's quite a good USP. And I don't know the price, but if it's in the green line, I would imagine that's going to be very affordable. Um, so yeah, I'm just sorting my stuff out with these as well. Awesome. That's it, guys. So I hope, you know, on tr spray triggers, I've gone for the one that perhaps isn't the best. My recommendation would probably be that if you want elite double trigger, go with this one. If you want um, cheaper double trigger, this is a good, good high quality item for the price, then go with that. If you want very cheap control single trigger, go with this Marilex one. It's not too bad. Um, all, all these other ones I'm going to give to the missus. We can actually use them in the house as well. Use them till they break. Because I want to find out when these triggers go. I also know that these triggers are incredibly reliable. Because um, I've been using them over here. Even with hydrocarbons in them. Oh, yeah, that one's got TARDIS in it for, for years and it hasn't busted out. Incredible triggers. So, going to end this video here. Oh, what an awful production. Since I've got this phone, I'm using the phone for lots of these videos instead of the GoPro. Just testing it, just testing it out. So far, I'm pretty impressed. Take care, see you soon. Bye for now.